Hey guys, today we're gonna be turning our windbreak panels into some shade panels. And, and to do that, we're gonna be cutting some oil well. That way we can tip the windbreak panels up on their side and they'll become shade. And the reason we're doing that is, well, we have black cattle and they can't, they don't take the heat very well. They can get pretty hot. So right now, my blade's getting a little dull, so I gotta, I gotta spin my piece of metal. That way it can cut through the top. But I'm cutting off some little chunks and I'll explain what those are used for later. So I got six of these big tubes cut and I got six of these rings cut and I'll explain what those are used for later. But right now I'm gonna cut this big tube into seven foot pieces, actually about seven foot six inches. And these chunks will be placed at the top of the windbreak. That way we can set it on its side and so they'll become legs and they'll work with the other two already existing legs. I mentioned that my blade was getting dull and when I say dull, it's not actually getting less sharp. It's just getting worn and the diameter of the blade is getting shorter. And as you can see, that's pretty small. And I have a new blade sitting over here. That's a lot bigger. And so when it gets small like that, and I'm cutting big pipe, it doesn't, it doesn't come all the way down. You see in the, in the corner here and here, there'll be steel tube that didn't get cut in those corners. And so putting a new blade on is easy. These blades actually don't get really hot, or they cool down really quickly. And so I last, I cut a piece about two minutes ago and I can already grab onto the blade. And so, what I do is I grab this Allen wrench and I just shove it in here, grab the blade, spin. And this other blade goes right back in. And you don't want to tighten it up too much because you can crack this blade. And if they get cracked, it makes it kind of dangerous cutting. pieces are for. So this piece will get welded to the pole and then this piece will get welded to the windbreak. We'll be able to just poke this right into the into the bigger tube and then this small piece will just keep this piece from sliding down it. So now that these are all cut, I'm going to clean them up around that area that I'm going to weld that little sliver on them. So I have each of these cleaned up. I did a big spot because I'm not 100% sure where these little stops are going to go. And so now I'm going to clean these up. The way they're going to be welded is there's going to be a weld right here. And then 90 degrees away, there's going to be another weld. And so now we have to tip this over. And how we're going to do that is we're going to put the forks on the loader underneath it and pick it up. And then just for safety, we're going to have the skid loader over here in case it starts tipping all the way over just to catch it. Well, we got this first leg welded on. The weld's not looking very good because it's a little windy and it's kind of blowing my argon away. I think I'm kind of running a little low on argon too. And so we might have to run it down by the end of this and get another tank of argon. But basically this is the idea. We got to lower this. It's kind of, it's kind of tilted like this a little bit. So we got to lower it and get it level and then we'll slide that piece up right here and then this pipe will sit on top of it. So 
So we got this stop welded on here, which keeps the windbreak from settling too far down. And then up top, I welded a nut on it and this bolt. That way, if a wind comes, it doesn't lift the windbreak up off the tube. And so now we're gonna do that to the other side. Shade number two is done now. And so it's time for some dinner. We're gonna have a little bit of some ribeye, maybe some, uh, some beans, a little bit of 57 sauce. Probably sprinkle on a little bit of sunny black Angus, no bowl seasoning. It's pretty good, you should try it. Also, if you didn't know, so that's my last name, S-O-N-N-E. -N -N -E. It's pronounced sunny, not sown or son pronounced sunny like it's sunny outside so now that we have all three of these ready to go he's gonna be carrying them out to our middle pen back there and we'll go back there in a minute once he gets those right outside the pen, we're worried that once we go through the gate carrying one of these, we're gonna sink in too deep. Not because these are too heavy, just because it's too wet. And so, dad bought a boom for our loader like a year ago. And I gave him crap about it because I was like, what are we gonna use a boom for? But we're gonna use that boom today to lift them over the fence and then we'll drive in and we'll situate them once they're inside the pen. Out back here, this is what we call the north pen and this is the middle pen where the wind brakes are going to go and there's a couple reasons why we're not going to put them in the north pen and it's because those heifers are actually going to go with these ones here in a week or two plus they have a little bit of shade from these trees when they stand up close to that west gate plus we do have the bulls up in the way south pen and they have it so where they can go into the barn and so they don't need any shade out in their pen because they get to go in that building and get shade from in there. They're getting excited. Okay, we got the boom on. We're just gonna lift them over and we're gonna put the forks back on and dad will drive in there and tip them on their side and these are some excited heifers ain't you you just know what you're getting don't you made it in the gate it was a good idea using the boom dad's gonna get underneath it and flip it forward windbreak panels turned into shade panels and they already found it there's 50 heifers in here that are going to be really excited 
and pretty soon there's about 20 more that we're gonna put with them and they'll get and they'll get their fair share of shade as well. I hope you like this video. Hope you learned something. I know these guys like the video. Didn't ya? Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you later.